So this is the beginning of the uh, two-stage, the DIY two-stage uh, thermoelectric cooler. So this is going to be the bottom stage that's uh, connected directly to the um, water block, water cooling block. And uh, I had to switch over to these TEC1 12706s, which are 6 amp thermoelectric coolers. Uh, I think I was pulling too much current out of the uh, main supply when I was pulling 40 amps out. So this all together should pull out like 30 amps instead of 40. So um, when it's all put together. Um, the temperature of these guys get down to on the first stage by themselves without any heat source coming into them. Uh, let's see about minus 18 degrees C. So a little bit less efficient than the, the Marlowe's, but well, minus 19. But um, let's see what they do when we stack them up. So that'll be the next next step. So after letting the uh, aluminum block sit on there for about five minutes, looks like the lowest I'm going to get without any thermal input from the uh, top first stage TEC is about minus 12 or 13. Um, it's absorbing a lot of energy just from the surrounding air. So at minus 13. So next step will be to put the first stage on and see what happens when we add all that heat to the second block, second stage. So I just added the first stage of the two-stage cooler. So we have one TEC on the top and four on the second stage. And I'm seeing minus 36 degrees C, minus 35, 36. So it works pretty good. It's just a lot of power. Um, let's see what the aluminum block itself that's sitting on the second stage is at. So it warmed up to minus 3 degrees C, minus 2. And the incoming water temperature was around 20 degrees C, 21 I think, and it's not bad for a DIY two-stage cooler. Yeah. So where we get to, try it again. Minus 33 degrees C, um, and this is with the TEC one stage 127 couple 6 amp coolers. So it's like we're drawing about 30 amps out of the supply to get to this. And thanks for watching.